AMC 10A 2019 Problem 16. We're given these 13 inner smaller circles at points of tangencies with radius of 1, and we're trying to find the shaded region area. So that is the question. And to find that shaded region, we must find the area of the larger circle minus the sum of the areas of the smaller circles. That should come as no surprise to you. And truth be told, this question shows up so many times in so many different variations across geometric problems, within textbooks and within AMC, that... When you're doing this type of question, it should come as second nature on how to solve it. So the process behind this is actually just through right triangles because we want to apply our understanding of the radius to help us find this height or this height right here, depending on where you look at it. And we're trying to find the radius. That is just the end goal of it. And to do that, we see here we want to apply the circles that are touching the outermost edge of the circle. So that is the thought process behind it. And to find the sum of the areas of the smaller circle, that's simple. We have 13 small circles with radius of 1. Pi r squared becomes 13 times pi. So now just need to find the area of the larger circle. And that is also very simple. We know we want to apply the circles that are touching the endpoints. So I'm going to look at the top, the bottom one, because that's the most visually appealing to me. And to do that, I can form this right triangle right here. Now, you can use this right triangle or you can use this right triangle right here, where instead of the base being there, it is right here and the base being right here. And now these all pass through the centers of the circle. That's why I can do it. And you can choose any single one of these right triangles, and you will be able to solve the question without with very much easy and quick solutions. But do you really want to pick the largest rectangle or largest triangle? Because if you want to find this height, we must find this height as well in order to sum the one radius right here. And that will be, in, will be pretty inefficient, but it's doable. But let's instead choose this height right here because we can multiply this by two to find the height all the way to this center. And we sum two to get the entire diameter and consequently we find the radius. So I'm gonna use the second triangle within this large triangle. And to find this height, I'll call it H, it's very simple because if we draw out this entire shape, it will look something like this. And we know that this is an equilateral triangle. Why is that? The reason why for this is because all the side lengths are equal to one another. And if all the sides are equal to one another, it must mean that all the angles are equal to one another. And within a triangle which sums to 180 degrees, if the angles are all equal to one another, that will be divided by 3, which is 60 degrees. So that's how I know that this is an equal angular equilateral triangle. So that's how I know that this height, since it is a height after all, must bisect the angle, the vertex right here. So the top angle of our right triangle will be 30 degrees. And since this is an altitude, this is 90 degrees, and the third angle will come as no surprise to you as 60 degrees. So therefore, we have a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. And this type of triangle is very special because we can apply trigonometric relations to find each side or the Pythagorean theorem, but that won't be necessary in this case. We can find the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is simply 4. How did I get 4? Well, this segment, well, you won't be able to see it that well, so I'll draw in red. This segment right here is 2, because that's the diameter. And then this will be the radius of 1, and this will be the radius of 1. So in total, we have a side length of 4. And now we can apply trigonometric ratios to find the height. We can use sine of 60 degrees, which is opposite of hypotenuse, to get h over 4. Sine of 60 degrees is root 3 over 2, so h will be equal to 2 root 3. So if h is equal to 2 root 3, then we can find the diameter. The second height from here to this circle center will be 2 times h, which is 2 times, uh, where is it, 2 root 3, which is 4 root 3. And now I must sum with the radii of this circle and this circle to find the diameter, which is plus 2. And now I want to find the radius to find the area. So the radius will be half times 4 root 3 plus 2, which is the same thing as 2 root 3 plus 1. And hence, the area of the larger circle, I'll write it here, will be equal to r squared times pi. And then we can subtract this with 13 pi to get our solution. And I see here that we actually need to factor this entire thing. So let's actually factor out a pi to get 2 root 3 plus 1 squared minus 
13. Now I'm going to need a little bit more room here, so I'm going to scroll down and show you my work. So this will now be equal to pi times 4 times 3, which is 12, plus 4 root 3 plus 1 minus 13, which is the same thing as pi times 4 root 3, because 12 plus 1 minus 13 cancel each other out. So our final solution will be 4 pi times root 3, which brings us to answer choice A.